My name is Steve Swanson. My business is Danish Tea Classics. We have a, a workshop with some really talented people who can make the stuff beautiful again, make it usable again. My name is Claire Selkert, and I uh, am an art historian, and I'm passionate about Scandinavian design. I tend to like things that are more functional, less adorned, but still the lines and proportions and ratios need to be right to my eye. If you're going to be a scholar and do research, you really have to have something that you, that you love and something that you never tire of and something that always brings something new to you. And that is the way I feel about Scandinavian design. If you see a Danish modern piece or, or a modern piece, you'll, you, you can see a connection with, with the way a box might have been made in a farmer's workshop or a carpenter's workshop or a boatmaker's uh, joinery. It's understandable. It's not intimidating. It's nicely scaled. Uh, Scandinavian design also is a, it's such a direct expression of the materials themselves. And um, I think it's unpretentious. In modernism, there's a, there was a purpose after World War II. It was like a perfect storm of, of production capability, of innovation, of sort of wartime innovation that they were able to apply to a peacetime purpose. Um, and a great bunch of designers that were around and able to work together with each other and with the production houses to get this stuff out there. I think it still is impacting furniture designers and, and we're just talking about furniture here. Uh, I think we also need to look more broadly at glass and ceramic design, contemporary craftsmen. Um, I think because it is such a, a classical ideal in many ways, you can always return to it and take from it what you need and add on to it. The, the, the thing that brought, drew people sometimes in, in the direction towards Scandinavian design was that it felt more uh, human, made by humans for humans.